Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I thought I'd do a room tour video for you because you have requested it so, 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 so much. Um, but before we get into that, I think I should just give you a quick update. I've got an update video coming up later this week where I'm gonna give you an update of how my exams are going, um, what my revision methods are, how things are doing, so stay tuned for that one. So I've, I'm still in Oxford, I've got finals coming up in the next like month and a half nearly, and so yeah, it feels a bit like crunch time because my entire degree is now being assessed. Um, in about nine or ten exams. So when I'm not revising, I'm trying to do things that are just great for my mental health. Um, I've started to pick up some photography again, which has been so fantastic. And also, uh, Lucy, Ellie and I have started to do some bakery. The other day we made an amazing lemon drizzle cake and it was so, so, so good. I didn't think I was capable of doing bakery or baking things, um, but apparently I am. And a lot of this has come down to me taking a whip at Skillshare. So this video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. They are an online learning community for creators with over 25,000 different classes with different skills can spark your creativity, curiosity, or even your career. Um, I've had a look at some of the photography classes which have really got me back into it. There was one fantastic one. Um, which is telling you how to shoot like a pro using just your iPhone. I'm sure many of you out there would be super interested in knowing that. There were so many cool aspects from like learning your vantage points, like learning how your composition affects um, the quality of your photo. And there's also been some amazing cooking classes this weekend. Um, Lucy, Ellie, Lala, Lucy, Ellie and I are gonna try and make some macarons. So I will let you know on Instagram how that goes. And as a special offer just for you guys, Skillshare has given 500 of my subscribers two months of free premium membership. Premium membership gives you access to an unlimited number of classes, allowing you to join the communities that you think are best for you. There are some great classes on revision, productivity, business help, some calligraphy. There's an insane amount of classes and for the first 500 of you that click on the link in my description box below, you'll get two months of absolutely free premium membership, which otherwise would cost you, I think, £13 a month. So that is fantastic. So for those of you that want to try it out, don't forget to click the link in the description box below and comment down below which class you're going to take first. Before I go back into revision mode and bakery mode post-revision mode, I thought I'd give you guys a quick room tour because you have deserved this one. So let's get into it. Bam. So as opposed to sticking to the tripod, I thought I'd go hands-free. I thought I'd go, not hands-free, that would be a tripod. I thought I'd go with hand um, and show you a bit about my room. So let's start from the outside. So this is my room. As you walk in immediately, you sort of have the ensuite right to the front. I'm so lucky that I have an ensuite this year. A tall mirror, which is lovely. My cupboards, a random box I need to throw, and a coat rack. So yeah, I never thought I'd actually use my coat racks just because I thought it'd look really messy, but this is the laziest thing. I just love being able to dump my... Why is there a zip on the back of my coat? I didn't even know that was a thing. That is so weird. Is it a pocket? I have no idea. Oh well. Yeah, so this is my Univ puffer, which I love. And then all my coats just got up here. There is my ring light, which I thought there's no need to use because it would just get in the way. My cupboards. Like, this is definitely not enough cupboard space. For those of you that know me, you know that this is definitely not enough cupboard space for me. But we just live with it. Oh, it's a little bit messy, but here is... <laughs> the inside of my cupboard, that needs to be sorted out because that is too messy. Um, yeah. Then some drawers. Over here is my bathroom, which we'll see in a minute. Um, and yeah, so I like that all Univ rooms come with these lovely long mirrors. Well, all Good Heart rooms, which is this mod the name of this modern block, all come with these like lovely mirrors so you can check yourself before you leave. Do you like my Hogwarts? bed slippers <laughs> and um, yeah so here we have this is essentially where most of my things go I sort of converted the bottom part of this bookshelf into this lovely like shoe rack just pop my shoes there um, I have a mini shoe obsession and clothes obsession this is a judgment free zone <laughs> just some like tea coffee things some photos hair supplies a candle that I can't light because of that devil up there um, 
look at the henchman that I am with this protein, um, and then some books, and then multiple tea thingies. Moving on to the right, we have my bed. Um, I really like this bed. I love that it has these sort of like compartment thingies at the top because I can just stuff it with midnight snacks. Um, and then I can keep some books here that I actually don't have that much time to read but make me seem very intellectual and cultured. I feel like I need to actually start listening, start listening to this book a bit more um, because I haven't been sleeping that much because of exams, but it's okay. Um, and then up there I have... Um, I don't have a problem, it was just my 21st and therefore I've kept remnants of that there. <laughs> um, and then yeah, the top frame says I only love my bed and my mama, I'm sorry, you might have seen that from my second year video, and that one says expect nothing, appreciate everything, which is true. And then yeah, my bed, and then over here, because that did not fit my clothes, I've got another rack, so if you're going to uni and you're worried about not having enough space to hang your things, I definitely recommend investing in one of these racks. They're really useful, um, and they only cost like 9 99 from Argos. They're great because they have a little shoe bit at the bottom. Yes, I've got more shoes down there. And um, you can just hang like bags and stuff on the ends. These are like when I go shopping, um, and then just a couple of things up there, which is great. And then here I have the seat that no one ever uses because it's in such an awkward place. Um, I just... I'll just go sit in the kitchen. My room is too small to really have people over. And leave the window seat later because that's probably the best part. And then I've got my desk. My only problem with the desk is it's a bit small. So as you can see, although this looks a bit messy, it's kind of organised chaos because I'm mid-final. So these books are all books that I need to keep referring to when I'm revising specific topics, except the Chinese Enlightenment. Um, that's one of my friends. <laughs> um, and yeah, so here's my pin board. Up here are like all these photos. And then again, I keep many of my multiple diaries. <laughs> Here, some champagne truffles, just in case you get peckish. Some Polaroids on my Polaroid camera, um, and then some more books. But yeah, I keep all my folders sort of stacked up here, but right now some of them are in the corner there, just because I have to keep referring to them. And I projector up there, and then these drawers are filled with miscellaneous things, and lots and lots of paper bags underneath there. But we do not talk about that area. We do not think about the clutter that exists there. Um, and then up on this wall I have my trusty, oh, I don't know if you can see it, I have my trusty pop art print of Princess Diana because I love her. Now we're going to go ahead and have a look at the ensuite. I, the biggest reason I picked this room over some of the old historic rooms in college that I could have picked was that it had an ensuite and it was just everything I wanted. It has a little hook here which I put my gown on, um, and then it's just, ta-da, I kind of love it. Um, you get some great sunlight in from there. Got my own shower, which is brilliant. Um, I keep some supply things up there and this box has most of my things. Um, and then yeah, perfume station. And then a little laundry box there. But yeah, this is my ensuite, which I love. Um, so the reason that this accommodation is so modern, you're thinking, you go to Oxford, like, why is there such modern accommodation? I thought this building, yeah, this building was not built in 1249 when the college was established. This is, was newly refurbished about five or six years ago. Um, and that's why I picked it, because I wanted an ensuite. I'd had an old room for two years and I just wanted a new one. So that's why, but yeah. And now heading out to the best part of this room, undoubtedly is my lovely window seat. You've probably seen how much I sit here in my vlogs. Um, I love that view of the Merton Chapel, it just looks so nice in the distance and it's just very Oxford when you're sitting in such a modern room. Yeah, it's just lovely. And then I've got my GQs to read, I haven't got this month but I will get it soon. And then tissues for when I need to cry when exams are getting too much. But yeah, that is essentially a room tour. I realised that I only have a couple of weeks, well, before I get crazy into exams and then before I leave this room, so I was like, I definitely got to do a room tour for you. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, don't forget to check out, I've got an update video coming up in a couple of days, so don't forget to check that out. Don't forget to click on the link down below because the first 500 of my subscribers will get two free months of Skillshare and then we can bake together, yay! Okay, so I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm gonna go, I'll see you guys later. Bye.